having understood scalar fields and vector fields now we will try to understand certain tools that are used to analyze these fields in a better way the first one is gradient of a scalar field gradient of a scalar field f gradient of a scalar field is mathematically represented as del f and when you say scalar field now we understand f having a form, a form like x square plus y square plus z square and what is this del bar del bar is dou by dou x x cap plus dou by dou y y cap plus dou by dou z z cap del bar is called vector differential operator it is vector differential operator it is similar to small d for scalar fields the small d is, is referred to scalar differential operator del bar is is referred to vector differential operator it just performs this function called dou by dou x x cap plus dou by dou y cap plus dou by dou z cap nothing more than that then what will be the expression for del f first let's write down the expression for del f and then we will see the physical significance del f will be equal to dou f by dou x x cap plus dou f by dou y y cap plus dou f by dou z z cap interestingly you can note that gradient of a scalar field gives a vector field important one more question so if you apply gradient to a scalar field the resultant is not a scalar field but it is a vector field that means the resultant of the gradient of a scalar field has both magnitude and direction what is the physical significance of gradient gradient of a scalar field so before we we de, we look at the physical significant physical significance directly let's start with the expression for df f is a scalar function and d is a scalar differential operator from vector calculus we know df as dou f by dou x x cap plus dou f by dou y sorry it is d dou f by dou x dx plus dou f by dou y dy plus dou f by dou z dz can i split this as a dot product of two vectors can i write this as dou f by dou x x cap plus dou f by dou y y cap plus dou f by dou z z cap dot dx x cap plus dy y cap plus dz z cap is this correct now what is this expression dou f by dou x x cap plus dou f by dou y cap plus dou f by dou z cap this is nothing but del f dot and what is this expression have you seen this somewhere this is the differential length vector dl bar so df is equal to del f dot dl right and the and the dot product of two vectors we know how to find out dot product of two vectors right what is a dot b mod a mod del f mod b mod dl bar cos of theta where theta is the smallest angle between the two vectors del f and dl so what will be mod del f now mod del f would be equal to df by mod dl cos theta so can you tell me what what should be the value of theta such that mod del f is maximum if this has to be maximum the denominator should be minimum so what should be the value of theta now theta should be equal to 0 when theta is equal to 0 so the, the magnitude of 
the gradient of scalar function would be maximum. So mod del f is equal to df by dl max. So this is the physical significance of the gradient of scalar function. So the gradient of a scalar function is a vector function or the gradient of scalar field is a vector field whose magnitude and direction both of them are significant and we know how to find out the direction right what will be the direction of del f direction of del f is nothing but the unit vector along del f so if someone asks you to find out the direction of del f so del f by mod del f will give you the direction of this gradient of scalar field and look at the magnitude so magnitude is nothing but df by dl max what do you understand by this statement mod del f equal to df by dl max let's start with df by dx so what is df by dx differentiating a function f with respect to x that is the variation of this function f with respect to x is df by dx what is df by dy the variation of this function f with respect to y df by dz is the variation of this function f with respect to z what is df by dl l represents the points in space so df by dl is nothing but the variation of this f with respect to space right? or it is a space rate change of f it is a rate at which this function f is changing with respect to space and what do you mean by maximum of this so it is a maximum space rate change of f and that maximum space rate change of f is nothing but the magnitude of the gradient of a scalar function so the magnitude of the gradient of a scalar function is nothing but the maximum space rate change of f it gives you the maximum rate at which this function f is changing with respect to space so if you carefully observe the, the, the significance of the gradient of scalar field is actually related to the variation of this field with respect to space right? so as you know the field is nothing but the region in space where the effect of some quantity is felt right so this field of course it varies from point to point and it has got some variation uh, within space so how this field varies is determined by the gradient of the scalar field since our since the focus is on scalar field now this gradient tool will 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 give the information about how the scalar field varies with respect to space so this is the physical significance of the gradient of a scalar function right so if you if you if you want you can take down the the definition of or the physical significance of the gradient of a scalar function like i said the gradient of a scalar function or the gradient of a scalar field gradient of scalar field is a vector field is a vector field whose magnitude and direction whose magnitude and direction are those of or those of maximum space maximum space rate change of scalar field maximum space rate change of scalar field so if you take the scalar field as f then what i am trying to say is mod del f is equal to df by dl max so gradient gives you the information about how the scalar field varies with respect to space this is exactly similar to the gradient of straight line that you study in your 10 plus 2 what is the gradient of straight line gradient of straight line is nothing but slope and what is the physical significance of slope slope of a straight line gives you the information about how this straight line varies as it moves from one point to the another point 
if the slope is positive it means that it, it is a linearly increasing uh, uh, function if, if the slope is negative then you know that you know, it is, is a decreasing kind and if the slope is zero that means it is constant so that is the gradient of a straight line and here we are uh, we are trying to understand uh, the fields so the gradient of uh, scalar field gives you the the rate at which this scalar field changes with respect to space now immediately we think of the vector field because we only have two fields the scalar field or vector field right now we would like to understand what is what is that parameter what are what are those tools that help us in understanding how the vector field varies with respect to space so for that let's erase the board